Perfect one, the Master 468 here, bringing next part in my Stort Little 2 walkthrough. And if you remember from last time, we just completed the tutorial level. I don't know why the camera is not rotating, it usually rotates by itself. There we go. <laughs> I guess that's for the better. And uh, yeah, we just completed the tutorial level. Uh, pretty kind of a lengthy tutorial section, but we did it. And now we're going to be entering the house and begin the actual game. So let's head inside. Alright, got a nice little loading screen. Stuart looking super happy. And here we are. We're inside the house, which is the first uh, level of the game. I should also point out, I mean, I don't have to point this out, but I want to because it's my video. I'll do what I want. Okay, shut up. <laughs> um, this is actually my second time recording this because uh, when I recorded this the first time, I realized that the audio level levels weren't correct. Yeah, the game audio was like non-existent, and I had to redo everything. It it, it just didn't exist. It, it didn't it didn't hear you didn't hear anything. It was in part one too, but I had to do some uh I wanted to do some clever editing, so I really want to save that part for uh for reasons. Um, but yeah, that kind of stinks. But regardless, we're just gonna do uh do it again because why not? <laughs> um, yeah. So, uh, as you can see, we got spiders walking around their enemies. Most of the uh, enemies in this game are going to be bugs. Uh, they usually go down in one hit. You just gotta, like, spin attack them, or you can throw stuff at them like this. It's pretty cool. So, what's our goal for this game, you might be wondering? What are we going to be doing? Well, for most of this game, well, actually, for the entirety of this game, we're going to be collecting jeweled rings. Jewel rings are basically like the, uh, the power stars of this game. You know, where you have to collect, like, a certain amount of something to unlock a level, and things like that. You know, it's basically, that's basically what jewel rings do in this game. And there are six in each level. We're gonna be going for all of the jewel rings in this game. And, uh, yeah, we're basically going for a 100% run. I, we di I didn't really do it in the first walkthrough. I, I almost did it, but I didn't quite make it. But we're gonna be doing it in this walkthrough. So, first thing I'm going to be doing is this jeweled ring. What's up, Margolo? Hey, Stuart. This looks tricky. I'll be very impressed if you can beat this challenge. Margolo, I just got here. You're already throwing a tough challenge at me? I th thought, thought you were better than this. I, 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 I didn't sign up for a hard game. Dude, why'd you do this to me? Okay, anyway. Um, yeah, it's a mini game. You need to collect all of the stars. You can lean left and right by tilting left and right, and you can also reach up into the sky by pressing up. And, uh, yeah, this is one of the jewel rings you can get. Each and every single level will have two minigames that you can do. So, um, yeah, so you'll get two minigames in each level, and they'll both give you a jeweled ring in return. So that's pretty cool. And, yeah, we just need to collect all the stars. If you don't collect all the stars in time... Uh, the track won't fix itself. The track is broken. You probably didn't notice it, but it's broken. Um, and we need to collect all the stars in order to uh, fix the track. So, um, yeah. Not that hard, as you can see. We just gotta reach around and get the stars. I missed a few, but it's okay. You can miss a few if you want to. You really just need to make sure that star meter up there is full. And here we go. I also apologize if I sound kind of funny. I'm kind of recovering from the cold. So, uh, sorry if I sound a bit weird, but I really want to record this video, so yeah. You've completed the course, so you've been awarded a jeweled ring. Alright, so we got our first jeweled ring of the game. Let's get it. Call me Super Stewart. I only need one more jeweled ring to open a new level. You, you danced to that beat, Margot. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Uh, that, that bobbin she was doing was kind of hypnotizing. Alright, so these things. What are these things you might be wondering? They're like goldfish crackers, except they're not goldfish crackers. Uh, these are actually cat biscuits, and you need to collect a certain amount of them in order to get a jewel ring. Margo will explain some more, so Margo, if you'll please. Good news. Collect 60 cat biscuits and take them to Snowbell's cat hole. Snowbell can then trade the cat biscuits with Monty for a jeweled ring. Awesome. So yeah, if you collect 60 cat biscuits and bring them to this cat bowl, you'll get a jeweled ring in return. Each and every single level will have this jeweled ring as well. 
Uh, basically, every single level will have the same jeweled rings, but you have to do them differently, obviously. Um, I mean, the minigames will be different. I'm not saying all the minigames will be the same, but you know what I mean. They'll, it, most of it will be the same, pretty much. You, you, you get the same basic tasks, is what I'm saying. Um, so, uh, yeah, the next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go get the, uh, the second minigame right now. I'm gonna go into this air vent and get some more of these cat biscuits. Goldfish crackers, whatever. I'm calling them goldfish crackers, because they look like goldfish crackers. Let's be, let's be honest here. <laughs> This one. <laughs> I want to hum to the music, but uh, I have the TV turned down really low so it doesn't pick up on the microphone. Will it pick up on the microphone anyway? I don't know. I guess we'll see. <laughs> Whee! Right, gotta do some platforming to get to this mini game. All right, and here's the second mini game. It's the plane from the movie. Awesome. Oh man, that is quite the acting skills to have going there, Marco Lowe. Oh man, can we go on this plane? I can't wait to have a go. Let's do it. Press X to fly high. I wanna fly high. Anyway. <laughs> Alright, so again, very simple. You gotta collect the stars again. You gotta collect all 20 in order to beat the game. Or the mini game, I should say. You press left and right to steer left and right. You can't go up and down. The plane does that for you. And yeah, you just follow the arrow to uh, get the stars. And yeah, get all of them before time runs out. Which most likely won't happen. Because every single time you collect a star, it adds more time to the clock. So, um, yeah, you will definitely not run out of time during this challenge. Unless you're really, really bad. Wow! That was a flying wow! Awesome! Alright, so we're gonna grab that. Well done, Stuart. You've collected enough rings to open up level two. If you visit Snowbell, he can send you to the next level. You can visit Snowbell at any time by selecting the visit Snowbell option in the pause menu. Start button. Would you like to visit him now? Nah, we're gonna get everything in this level first. We'll visit Snowbell later. Uh, he's basically the, uh, level selection screen, pretty much. That's pretty much all he's been reduced to in this game. <laughs> he doesn't make an actual appearance. He's just kind of there as a screenshot. Like, hey, let's just pick a level. What do you say? <laughs> it's probably not at all how Snowball talks, but, uh... Ugh, excuse me. Oh, boy, the return of the burps. Bet you missed that. <laughs> oh, lots of burps. Jeez Louise. Okay, these things. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, these are checkpoints. And that should be pretty self-explanatory as to what those do. If you die, you respawn at the last checkpoint that you're at. Whee! And as for these goldfish crackers, uh, we're just gonna get them as we go along. I'm not gonna dedicate, like, an entire section of the video just getting goldfish crackers, because I think that's kind of boring. Um, we're just gonna kind of get them as we go along and get other jewel rings. Now, there's a thing up here that we can get. It's a clapperboard-looking thing. Gonna grab that. Way to go, Stuart. You've collected the clapper board and unlocked the film clip in the gallery section. Yes, these things unlock bonus clips from the Stuart Little 2 movie. That's pretty cool if that's what you're into. I don't know if it has any influence on getting 100% or not. But I am gonna get all of them anyway because, well, I know where they are, for one. Um... Or maybe there's some, out, some of you out there who do care about where all the uh, clapboards are. I don't know. All I know is I know where they all are, and I'm going to get them. <laughs> so, um, yeah, if it, do you want to get some bonus clips from the movie? Uh, yeah, you can find those. Pretty cool. Uh, we got these green suitcases here. We don't need them right now, but if you happen to get hit, collecting these ice cream cones will give you more health. Which is pretty cool. So what's the next we're going to go after? We're going to go after... The hidden jewel ring. It's the question mark icon on the uh, far right. So we're gonna go over here, back into this room. I like the soundtrack in this game. 
Nice soundtrack. Grab these. Right, so the hidden jewel ring is over here. Do, 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 And here it is. Aha! I have the hidden treasure! Yo ho ho and a bottle of it! Milk? Ha! You're funny! Anyway. Uh, oh dear. I thought I was- Oh dear, I can't see, okay. Okay, I thought I was gonna fall to my doom there, there, but luckily I saved myself. I totally meant to do that, totally. <laughs> gonna grab these, cause I can. And then we're gonna go after the, uh, second, uh, oh dear. Not the second, the, uh, what jewel ring are we at? The fourth? Yeah, we're gonna be after the, uh, the fourth jewel ring. Just gonna check. Yeah, it's our fourth. <laughs> gonna grab, go underwater here to get these, uh, these cat biscuits. I don't think that's sanitary. I think that will most likely kill the fish here, if they were here. Good job. <laughs> Why do you even have a fish tank? There's no fish here! <laughs> I know there's those cat biscuits, but that, those aren't fish. What the heck? <laughs> Did they just get a, a, a fish tank just to put those, uh... Those cat biscuits there? Because they are... Because if they did, they're a really weird family. <laughs> Alright, so the fourth jewel ring is over here. In every single level, you'll find this thing, a golden suitcase. Tell us what this does, Margolo. He's got a problem. This is the golden suitcase, Jarrett. It contains a jeweled ring, but it can only be opened by using the golden key. It's around here somewhere. Can you find it for me? Please help. Okay, Margolo, we'll help you find the golden key. So yeah, you can't open this with any of your attacks. You can only open it if you find the golden key. So we're gonna go look for that right now. We're gonna hold down the R1 button to do a sprint. So we can make our way back. Alright, and in here, it's in this room. Grab that checkpoint. We're gonna bounce on this thing. Apparently these are George's toys. That's what Margolo describes them as. They're just his toys, and they all do the exact same thing, apparently. <laughs> Guess that makes sense. <laughs> Alright, we got these red suitcases here. You can't attack- you can't open them with your spin attack, but you can open them with your throw. And in these red suitcases are extra lives. Pretty self-explanatory, if you die, you lose a life. You lose all your lives, you get a game over, which I don't think I've ever had happen in this game, ever. That's a pretty good accomplishment, I must say. And, uh... Yeah, here's the golden key, right here. Yeah! I found the golden key! Now all I have to do is take the key to the golden suitcase! What an adventure this is turning out to be! Yes, I can get the running thing that I... That happens in this game that I always like to make fun of. Stork gets really, really overly excited about everything. In this game. I literally mean everything. He gets excited when you get a jeweled ring. He gets excited when you get the golden key. He gets excited when you get all 60 cat biscuits. He goes crazy, man. No matter how many times he does it. Even when you're on the last level. He will get that excited. Over getting the, uh, the golden key. So, yeah. Swords really easily abused, apparently. I don't think he was ever this excited in the actual movie. I don't recall him ever getting that excited over every little thing. It's really weird. Um, but we got the golden key, we brought it to the golden suitcase, and we got another jeweled ring. Yeah, Alright, so the next jeweled ring that I'm going to be going after are the face blocks. You're probably wondering, what the heck are face blocks? What do they do? How do they work? What is going on? Why am I talking like this? Will this cold ever go away? I guess we'll find out next time, though. <laughs> um, so you might see up here... We got these blank square spaces. Uh, these are where the face blocks go. There are six face blocks in each level. If you collect all six, they'll form a path that leads to the jewel ring. These face blocks, for example, will form uh, stairs. Then you can climb up to that fireplace over there. And on top of that fireplace is a jeweled ring. So you need to go around and find all of the face blocks in order to get the jeweled ring. 
I'm going to try to save those for last, aside from the cat biscuits, of course. I'm going to lay it out like in my uh, Battle for Bikini Bottom. Jerk. Really now? Okay. I see how it is. You know what? Die. <laughs> um, what was I saying? I'm going to lay it out like in my Battle for Bikini Bottom walkthrough. Where, um, I, well, like when I found all the socks and stuff, and I just cut ahead to where I, to the locations of all the socks. I'm going to do that here for the face blocks. Um, except for this first one, of course, because it's right here. The first face block that you can find is up here. Grabbing these fish crackers along the way. I don't care if they're cat fish, because I'm going to keep calling them the fishy crackers, because that's what they look like. Gosh darn it, anyway. And Margo will point out that you found a face block every single time you collect a face block. That won't get annoying quickly. <laughs> Um, speaking of Margolo, um, in some locations, if you talk to Margolo in some areas, she'll actually help you find locations of face blocks. Well, hi, little old spirit. Do you need help to find the hard to reach item? If you say yes to this, the camera will do a little cutscene showing you the um the location of the face block. So there's the one that we just collected. Or that's where it would be anyway, but we collected it. That doesn't make me feel better. Shut up. Anyway, um, yeah, so that's a little helpful thing that you can do if you uh, are having trouble finding any of the face blocks. So that's pretty cool. Um, but luckily I know where they are already, so we don't need Marlo at all. <laughs> Unless I end up derping and forget where one of them are, then I'll probably use her. But I think I can find them pretty easily on my own. The second face block is over here. There we go. Excellent hunting spirit. You have found a face block. Thank you. You sound so excited. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna cut ahead to the kitchen because that's where the next set of face blocks are. So here we are, back in the kitchen. The next face block is on top of this table. Grab those. We're almost at 60 cat biscuits, guys. It's exciting. You can push some things like these blocks. Wherever you see these white lines, that means you can push stuff along them. And it's on top of this microwave, the face block. Face block number three. Excellent hunting spirit. You have found a face block. Alrighty. Face block number four is along this path here. I'm just going to show you this path, because we haven't been down here yet. So we're going to hit this guy. <laughs> it's easier to destroy those uh, flying enemies with the, uh, the throw ability. It's easier to kill those guys by doing that. You can kill them with the spin attack too if you want, but you have to wait for them to fly down at you, and they're usually attacking when they do that. So, uh... It's usually just easier to get rid of them quickly with the throw attack. Alright. Grab some more of these. Alright, here we go, guys. The 60th cat biscuit. Yes! I've done it! <laughs> I've collected enough cat biscuits for Snowbell to trade with Monty for another ring. Now, where is that cat bowl again? Uh, it's right below us, actually. Let's look down. Oh, we can't see it from up here, but it is below us, trust me. <laughs> Oh, excuse me again. Jeez, two burps in one video? What is this madness? Alright, so we can zip line on some things. Here we go. Oh yeah, that was awesome. Right, that's face block number four. Yep. You have found a face block. That's nice, Margo. Thank you. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna go into the dining room to get the next face block. And head back up here. On top of the table, and if you climb up the candlestick, you'll find face block number five. Excellent hunting spirit. You have found a face block. Thank you very much. Now, I'm going to grab these cat biscuits here. There's, there's 80 in all, but you only need to collect 60. But if you want to get 100% in a level, you do need to collect all 80 cat biscuits. So I'm just going to grab these by climbing under here, or monkey barring under here, we're not really climbing. 
that would involve, you know, ascending. But we're not ascending. That's sad. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna climb up this thing. It's some sort of plan, I'm not really sure what it is, but it's it's something. <laughs> Alright. Two ice cream cones. Awesome. Oop. Gonna jump over here. Alright. Gonna push this block over here. Yeah, push it. Push it, Stuart. Push it. Alright. <laughs> There's a button over there, but we're gonna get it later. I'm gonna wait till we get the space block. Also, um, there's these blue suitcases. If you collect these things, they'll give you extra health slots. You can collect five health slots in total, or you can have five health slots in total, I should say. And, uh, yeah, if you die, I think you lose either one or all of your health slots. So, um, and then you'll go back to having three. So, um, yeah, so I guess just don't die. It's the best advice I can give you. And this should be the last case block, unless I'm mistaken. Well, aren't you full of yourself? <laughs> Alright, so now you got all six of the face blocks. It'll form a path leading to the jeweled ring. I'm gonna take a quick little detour to head over here. And boom! So this door... Oh, it's a completely optional area. You don't need to go in here if you want to. But there's an extra life in here along with two cat biscuits. And it's the final two cat biscuits we need to get all of them. So, let's grab this extra life. And let's get these cat biscuits. There we go. 80 out of 80. Awesome. So now I'm going to cut ahead to when we get to the uh, face blocks. So we can get that jeweled ring. Mmm. Eat it. <laughs> Alright. So up here, let's climb up these blocks, and here we go, jewel ring number five. Call me Super Stewart. I only need one more jewel ring to open a new level. Yep, we're not even done with level one yet, and we're already about to unlock level three. This might not sound bad to you at first, but once you see how many levels there actually are in this game. Yeah, you'll see how pathetic that really is. Uh, one th more thing I want to explain before we uh, finish off this level. You might have seen uh, these enemies uh, walking around, these robots. These enemies can't be killed, but you can stun them by throwing something at them. So, uh, yeah, if you run across an enemy like that, just throw something at them and they'll be stunned. Uh, there are different types of those enemies. There's, like, um, there's birds and... Actually, I think that's the... Oh, no, there's a snail. And, um... Yeah, those are the three types, I think. Uh, it's usually robots, birds, or snails. That you can only stun and not kill. So, uh... Yeah, just keep that in mind. Now let's get the final jewel ring by giving Snowbell the Cat Biscuits. Alright, so here we go. Let us finish this level. Way to go, Stuart. You've completed the level 100%. You'll have to visit Snowbell and explore more levels to continue the good fight. Alright, we beat the level 100%. Man, that was amazing. Alright, so we are done with this level, basically. We got all all the things that there are to collect in this level. So, uh, yeah, we're done here. So, when you're ready to uh, leave this level, you can collect these paw prints to go to the level selection screen. Or you can simply hit visit Snowbell in the pause menu. Um, I'm gonna do this method, because it's right here. Hmm. Do I want to visit my old pal, Snowbell? Yes, Stuart, you do want to visit your old pal, Snowbell. And we're also gonna save our game. Yes, I'd like to create a save file. Alright. And it's gonna play the uh, bonus movie clip that we got, but I'm gonna skip it for copyright reasons. And, uh, there's Snowbell, staring to our soul. Kinda creepy. And here we go! Yeah! There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven levels. And there are 36 rings total. And you only need 30 to beat the game. Do you see how easy this game is now? <laughs> uh, yeah, it doesn't really get that much harder. It gets a little bit more challenging in the sewers, but 
by the time you get to the sewers, but it's 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 mostly a cakewalk, I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> Um, but yeah, that's basically it for this video. We got all the le the uh, things from collecting level 1. So in the next video, I'm gonna go to level 2 and get all the jewel rings there. See you then, everyone.